Um, it is a happy Saturday here. I'm so excited. I'm getting a little bit um, late, later start to the day than I had, had planned, but these are waiting for me, so I'm not gonna let that stop me. Um, I've been dying to get this done. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all the doors off. I'm gonna paint them. I'm going to um, fill the top hole, leave the bottom. The hardware I got is a little bit bigger. So um, once I fill the holes and um, paint, you won't even see that top hole, I'll drill a new, a new hole for the hardware. Um, so it'll be much bigger. Um, so these are solid wood. They're um, in great shape, so I don't need to replace this whole thing. There's just random stuff in here. <laughs> I love this, there's, there's no way. Mark has talked about getting rid of it, and I'm like, no way, no way. This is staying, little um, storage, secret storage area over here, and I just love it. So anyway, it just needs a little bit of updating. It's just dark in this hallway, so I think painting it white is just really gonna um, open the space, make it not feel so dark. Just give it a little, a little new life. It's gonna be a really fun day, so let's get started. Okay, so I have, um, <clears throat> Like I was telling you guys earlier, I have this uh, liquid easy, it's called easy liquid sand or deglosser. So I wanted to try this because I saw a gal using this on some furniture that she was repurposing. Huh. It's kind of like a milky consistency. Okay, that should be good. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to not spill it. <laughs> okay. See that super well on camera. Took up a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I have all my holes filled. Um, I'm gonna wait for those to dry. And while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take the doors off. Um, so that way I can um, I'm gonna spray paint the hardware um, that actually hold the doors on. I think I'm just gonna spray paint them white. I could do them black. I think the black will look kind of funky. So I'm gonna do white, um, so that way it'll kind of blend in, but it'll save me a little bit of cash on having to go and buy new, new hardware. So I'll just spray paint those white, and so I'm gonna take these off, get all the, har the hardware off the doors, get all these out to the garage so that way I can sand them and then get them ready um, to be primed. So let's get to it. Hey guys, okay, so I have all of this um, prepped. I've got everything marked off with my tape. I've got the doors out in the garage, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this hand-painted prime tonight. It's really not gonna be um, that hard because I can go ahead and use my brush and my roller and just knock this out probably, probably pretty quick. With the primer, it's white, so I get a little sneak preview of what it's gonna look like. So I started here, and um, let's go ahead and uh, get to it. Get that paintbrush in my hand. That's what I'm trying to do. So, should we do it? Let's do it. It's like no turning back. I mean, technically there would. I could turn back, but 
I'm not going to. Oh my gosh. This is just too much fun, you guys. I tell you what. So, um, you know, I use the spackling. I'll just tell you guys here while I'm, you know, kind of told you my, tell you my process of what I've done so far. Um, so the spackling, guys, it's like awesome. You know, I was recently trying to figure out what's better, like spackling, wood filler, you know, and I think it does depend on what you're doing and what you're trying to fill, but for little holes like this, guys, the spackling is so smooth. You're not gonna get anything that smooth with, with wood filler, in my opinion. Um, at least not the wood fillers that I've used. It, I've never got it any that smooth, so I'm here for it. Uh, so I'm priming with Dun Edwards Primer. Um, I love this primer, it's just a multi-surface primer. And I use this on everything, and I kind of have a weird process. I don't know, um, I will trim everything out first with my paintbrush. So all my little edges, everything like that. I will roll all the flat surfaces, and then I will go back over it with my paintbrush. I don't know if that's weird. <laughs> that is how I do it. I, I don't like to have, you know, some rollered spots, some spots that are rolled and some spots that are done with the paintbrush. So I will roll it just to get the paint on there really fast. And then I'll just run over it with my paintbrush to get off any excess paint that the roller would have left behind. Um, I just feel like I have a lot more control um, when I'm using the paintbrush. So that's kind of my process. I also, you know, I, I don't do, when I do projects like this, I break the rules. I don't spend a bunch of time sanding all this stuff unless I have to, you know, unless it's something like I'm, you know, gonna, I don't know, restain these or something. Then of course I would sand it, but just to paint, I rely on a good primer. And that's why I do a little bit of, you know, extra prep work, like trying the deglosser and stuff like that and, and doing a really good primer. Um, and you know, I have redone most, I've re repurposed a lot of pieces where I have not even, not sanded, not deglossed, nothing. Use this primer in the paint and it's held up beautifully. So I do believe in the primer. I think that's a crucial step. I am so happy with the way that they turned out. It totally brightened the space um, when you come around the corner here. So I am like totally ready to put my laundry away. <laughs> um, absolutely love it. And um, you know, I ended up, this is the, the new hardware that I um, ordered off of Amazon. And then the old hinges, I just um, spray painted them. So they were kind of like an old brassy color. And so I just spray painted them silver and um, got some new screws and bam, good to go. So uh, anyway, thanks for being here guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is a really fun project. I've been meaning to kind of get this done for a while. So it's done, check it off the list, on to the next. I have another fun project that I'm gonna be starting tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And um, we'll catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks for being here, bye.